All right, so let's check this out here. There is sound. These are not the cookies, right? Okay, I ordered Oreos. All right, I've, I've been working so hard keeping everything together, baby, and I can't even get the cookies that I want. Sweetheart, they, they look the same. They are not the same, okay, all the... Uh, these... Right. So I would say... The main thing that I'm seeing from a technical point of view is that his head feels very IKO world space. Where even like especially here, you can see how you translate back as the body goes forward. It's it's not sticking per se in 2D space, but it's, there's a bit of a counter move here. Are not the and then through all of this, like I know he's looking at her, but there's no side to side wide or up and down. That kind of loosens up the neck a bit. It feels all very locked and here again it feels like the head goes back as the body goes forward getting to very locked areas and everything feels in one axis going forward this seems like there's a bit of a turn like this but it feels more like a translate so again i don't feel like enough rotational complexity again this feels like this goes forward independently while this goes back a bit it's the main thing that struck me in this is just the head. Oreos. All right, I'm, I'm... Then you have this. Where we're having a little bit of a move here. Or not a little bit, but... But it, it, then it gets a bit... Still very separate as it's mostly up here. And also, I'm assuming those are IK arms. There's something odd with this going straight down. While the elbow is moving. But the wrist is kind of locked there. I've been working so hard. That's my main thing. Well, let's go... The next one here. Working so hard, keeping everything together, baby. And, I and you mentioned the email, a bobblehead, and it's it's yeah. I had the same feeling where like there's a lot of separate stuff that almost starts to feel dislocated, unhinged from the rest of the body there. Get the cookies that I want. Especially something like this that I want feels very much like a forward translate, versus a bit of a lean to the side with, you know, like you can side lean the nose over to this with a little bit of a little bit of a arc. Sweetheart, they, they look this Even her, just for that moment when she goes here, I feel that rotation through here while nothing else is involved in the neck area or in the chest. Even when you go like this with this arm, I see maybe something in here, but it feels like it could be more in the shoulder and then also with the chest. It just feels all very... Like a lot of the characters feel very separated where like even this move starts to feel a bit separate. There's some other stuff involved there that brings a bit together but then once we're done with that move the head the head and, and uh, the chest area here with the neck through there that feels like it's one big piece just kind of moving over they are not the same okay. the these. and then with her last like she's not i'm not sure if she's just freaked out and that's how she's staring i was always expecting her to have some darts and follow him and just kind of be a bit looser again she feels like it's one pose where this feels almost like a default hand pose like it feels like she could be loosened up a little bit like uh, uh, maybe the head goes back maybe she starts to lean back a bit going uh i did not i don't know this crazy person type of thing the same. They are not the same. Okay. Uh, and even here for him it feels like there's an over rotation sure as he turns but then this feels like it's a straight rotation back in one axis this just goes straight down one axis and watch out, we're hitting a very harsh one frame direction change. Look at that. Bam! Everything feels, because of that, very stiff, very light. There is no, the only thing that, that kind of overlaps, overshoots are his arms. Here again, we have a bit of a, almost a sticky head, but coming out with a translate. And even on that turn, Right through there, I see how the chest is moving, where the head orientation feels pretty much locked. And here again, we're having this going down, going down, bam, back over one frame. With no real separation between these. It just, it just overall feels too stiff, and his arms start to feel a bit too... A, a bit too in sync there, but they also look like IK arms. Just because of the path and the sudden... Just the lack of arc like how rough those those arcs are and how the wrists are locked in the same position almost there that's my main thing it's just i still like everything in terms of the ideas and all the stuff that's going on it just feels too stiff to me in terms of 
the chest and head relationship and mainly how the head feels like it's just an IK translated head. Are not the cookies, right? Okay, I order. Now, if you do listen to the audio, these are not. These are not like da da da. The cookies, right? The cookies, right? Like there's a certain rhythm to this where imagine as he walks, like he he's not freaking out just yet. He's still bottling up all his anger, but he could still pretend to be a bit more relaxed. And that, imagine there's a bit of a side to side sway. Like you know, he could almost lean back a bit. These, These are, not are not. And that's when he goes forward. That could be side to side. The cookies, right? Okay, I. The cookies, right? right. And then that's when he starts to get a bit more like staccato, a bit more, more chopped up. The cookies, right? Okay. And that's when I feel like that's, you can really have some side to side movement that involves the chest where, let me see his arms. Are not. The cookies, right? Okay, I ordered. Okay, I, oh, like that, 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 that. It's also kind of missing in his arms. Like I feel like you could, you could almost loosen that. And this is a bigger change. You don't have to do this, but it's almost like you could start with him. All right, arm back. These are not. These are not the cookies, right? I and that's when he goes. Okay, I, I ordered, and that's when he gets like this. When he gets a bit more strict and i don't mind the twinning because at that point it gets very stiff you know i mean like it's almost the this the rhythm is all right these are not the things because that's whatever you know I mean like that's kind of the the rhythm that i'm missing subjectively from that all right i've, I've been even this year he's he's bottling it up but all that's happening is just a back and forth kind of even in timing head shake i ordered oreos all right i've this could also be something, this is a bigger, you know, like, uh, uh, what's it called? A subjective take on this, but also watch out. These are two twin at this point in terms of timing, how they go back. Again, it feels like um, IK arms. But what if at that point, like, again, imagine he's a bit looser. And you can do this by keeping this and just kind of loosening it up by swinging a bit more left and right. Like, you know, I don't want to be too destructive. But imagine one arm down, he leans back, he's loose. Then he gets tighter. With this pose, Oreos. All right, I'm... and right during that part, All right, I'm... that's when he he almost wants to yell at her. All right, I and then he goes, oh, and then he goes back. Like no, 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 I can't yell at her. I can't do this. He goes back. I've been working so. So instead of talking down to her, that's I've been working. when he starts squatting because okay, let me let me be on your on your same level, and you can even potentially. Bring this up here. Have, again, this is more destructive in terms of a note, but he could be in a in a bigger squatty pose. Like I'm going to be on the same level as, as you. I'm not yelling yet, but I'm still angry. So hard keeping everything together, baby, and I can't even get the cookies that I want. So and then with that, imagine again. This is very destructive, and <laughs> you don't have to do any of this. Just the thought. He starts by trying to be on her level, right? squatting down all right this is what i'm trying to do and at the end in my fancy color change at the end he is no it didn't work hold on it didn't change colors there you go and then at the end he is standing leaning pointing at her obviously you know that it would be more of a balanced thing where he's like this and like Arr! but then he, he imagine like there is a throughout his he gets more and more angry so he starts trying to be on her level and ends up talking down and stiff because it's almost like his anger you know blows him up where it's like air filling the balloon the balloon is now stretched and stretched and then she says that and that's the thing that pops the balloon so you could you could have him you know i mean something straight so again, he would he would have started in the previous shot like this, ends up straight, and that's now where the balloon pops, and then this happens. Anyway, I know this is broad, <laughs> a bit more destructive. Um, I just want to make sure that like the the thought that I have behind this makes sense. Like I am, I don't want to be too bogged down by technicalities of well, your head feels a bit. See like a lot of translates and a lot of IK arms. Um, 
I just want to make sure that I give you all my thoughts in terms of how could we also plus this shot beyond the technical thing where instead of here where he's pretty much in the same pose here, right? If I have this with onion skinning, see through all of this, he's kind of stuck in this. You might argue while he's trying to not explode and he puts himself into that box. I can see that argument for sure. And maybe you can then have him be more like this and then at the end lean a bit more. But I don't know, I kind of like the idea of, all right, like here, he's about to be angry and yell at her, goes back. No, no, I can't yell at a kid. Let me change this completely and be on your level. It looks like, but he's still totally condescending. And then throughout the shot, of this one, he gets angrier and angrier and straighter, and at the end it explodes. I don't know. Let's throw that out there as an idea. Feel free to take whatever you want. But if we disregard all of this, my main thing is you gotta make sure that there is more separation between head, chest, and root. Watch out that the arms are not two twins and changing direction. So it's like the, the body over one frame, uh, giving these more FK arcs versus the IK look. That's my main thing. When I watch this whole thing, I see more technical issues that kind of almost distract from the rest. But imagine the technical issues were gone and that's when I would have those um, suggestions in terms of the acting. Same thing here. Like he starts off, like I said, looser. Hey, let me talk to you. And then he gets angry and he goes back. It, he's constantly teetering between, oh, I want to be nice. Oh, I want to kill this girl, but I want to be nice. And I think it's that that back and forth, I think that could really push that shot so that he's not constantly, he's constantly on edge and straight throughout. I mean, I know he's bent over here, but I don't, there's always so much tension and then he explodes and it would be kind of fun to kind of, oh, pull back, pull back and then he explodes. Anyway, ranting or ranting, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying stuff now. So leave it at that. As always, email me, let me know your thoughts, how you want to move forward. You can take any of these notes however you want, and that's that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.